Welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. <clears throat> Today is August the 27th, 2021. It's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. First of all, a big shout again to the 27 people who watched this video yesterday. Thank you so much for those views. Thank you so much for the views. Of course, I have a favor to ask. Of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click on, very important, click on the like button. 25 views should equal 25 likes, okay? All it takes is one little extra mouse click to, to click the like button on this video. I did see three people like the video yesterday. Uh, but anyway, let's get on with the show. Of course, as we, uh, of course, as a reminder, don't forget to click the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter, or share it in an email or text message also. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Did I mention that before? Okay, anyway, it's, uh, so anyway, uh, we need to remind, we need to remind ourselves that Sweden only records COVID-19 data Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but instead adds Saturday and Sunday numbers and Monday numbers on the Tuesday's number, which produces a huge artificial spike, which makes it very difficult to, uh, to determine the number of cases and deaths for those days of the week. So instead, what we're, what we're concerned with here is the trend. Or the trend is our friend. Are the numbers trending up or are they trending down? One thing I want you to notice here, I want you to notice July, because so far, Israel, the state of Ohio and the U.S., and the U.S. have all shown an increase in deaths in cases beginning in mid-July. Really curious, huh? And one other, one other sobering uh, thought or question before we get started here. Suppose COVID-19 never goes away. Suppose we never have a, suppose we, you know, suppose we, the, the, we always have cases, we always have deaths, whether on a, a daily, week, or month, never, COVID-19 never goes away. At what point do we lace up our boots, pull up our boots, and get on with life? At what point do we stop the endless round of vaccinations, stop the endless rounds of shutdowns and reopening, and simply get on with life and accept the fact that it isn't going away? I can tell you in the U.S., we still have more cancer deaths in 2020 and heart disease in 2020 than we have with COVID-19. Okay? So let's just get on with your reporter, Sweden. Let's take a look here. Okay, now again, the spikes, the spikes are the Tuesday numbers. Okay, the spikes are Tuesday. The gaps are Saturday, Sunday, Monday. What I want you to notice here is the trend. You had a long trending pattern back over here all the way down. But now in mid-July, your cases are starting to trend back up again. Like I said a minute ago, the same, I see the same pattern in the U.S. and in Israel. It's really odd that this disease could be so, you know, so, I don't know, so, so, so I, I just find it hard to believe that, that three nations, and I'm sure not just America, you know, I may actually look at COVID-19 later on. You know, how, how can Israel and Sweden, how can Israel and the U.S. and now Sweden all show increases in mid-July for COVID-19 cases and deaths. How, how can it be? How can the the season for that for that that's what it is? But it's the season of COVID-19. How can it be so? How can it be the same in three different parts of the world? That's, that's what that's what that's what puzzles me. <clears throat> this is a 20 moving average. So at a 20-day period ending 8-12, you're averaging 795 cases per day. Again, the blue line is what's called a low-as fitted curve. You can see the overall pattern is down. Okay, the, the, this is confirmed by the linear regression model line here, linear regression line, down. And look how, look how, again, you're starting to see a slight increase here in deaths in Sweden, although hopefully this isn't really anything major. But uh, cases certainly are increased, which is really, it's really odd. Okay, so you can see here your deaths are really very low. This is a 20 moving average for deaths. For the 20 day period ending August the 12th, you're averaging 1.8 deaths per day. You can see that you are having a slight increase here. This is 10,000. 
So you're probably about you know five to six thousand for this peak right there. Hopefully this is going to be the mark, the, uh, the return to a, a declining trend. Hopefully in case it isn't a long-term trend going towards the end of the year. Hopefully this was just a speed bump along the way, kind of like back over here. What about deaths? We can see deaths are continuing to remain very, very low. Okay, that's the good news. Although your cases are up, they're still well below all these numbers over here. Okay. Look at these deaths. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a very good chance that you got seven straight months in a row of, of declining COVID-19 deaths. All right. So Sweden, that does conclude your poll for today. Again, for what it's you, hey, don't forget to click on that uh, on that share button, the subscribe button, and of course, very important, don't forget to click on the like button if you find this report helpful. Thanks so much for your time, Ms. Sweden. We'll catch you uh, Sunday with an updated report.